Okay, so I want to talk about editing your profile in DRC. So um, what you're going to do is uh, go ahead and log into Canvas. So when you log into Canvas, first thing I want you to do is to either go to Home or Modules. I don't think it matters. Um, and then you'll see under uh, Leap 360 General Information, you'll see a page that's called Edit Your Profile. So let's go ahead and click on that and so there might be several reasons why you may need to edit your profile and so one reason would be that the test coordinator may misspelled your name or some other issue that occurred um, as a result of your test coordinator setting up an account for you it could be that that you got married and you want to use your your married uh, your, the last name of, of your spouse or for some other appropriate reason all right, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to log into DRC using your username and password. Now, let me just say something real quick. The username you cannot change. That cannot change. And, and we use your EBR email address for your username. Or if you're a charter school, we use your organization's email address. But the username you cannot change. And you're going to see what it is you can change in a little while but the username you cannot change. Now you can change the password but you cannot change your username. Alright and then so um, there's gonna be a video here if you want to watch this uh, uh, in terms of editing your profile. Okay so let's let's go ahead and log into DRC. So when you log into DRC let me go ahead and pull it up. Um, you're gonna get this. Alright and so at the top right, see right here where it has your initials? If you click on it, you're going to see my profile. All right, so let's talk about editing the profile. So if I go to edit profile, you see it could be that that uh, my first name is misspelled and my, even my last name is misspelled. So you just change anything with an asterisk, you can change. So you change it, so let's go ahead and change it. Um, and then my last name does not have an R in it. So let's change that. Now let's talk about the email address. See, the, there's an asterisk there. So that means you can change it. Okay, now um, try not changing your email address. Leave it as the EBR email address so that way it matches your username. So we want your username and your email address to match. All right, so, so now if, if you, let's say you got married and um, you change your email address through EBR. So EBR gives you a new email address with, with your new, uh, with your married name. So yes, I would go ahead and change at that point because you want it to match um, the uh, user name. Now here's a problem though. <laughs> um, your username will not be changed. So, so that's the only situation where your email address will not match your username. Uh, the username will stay with you, uh, but the, you, you can change the email address for some appropriate reason, okay? Alright, so then we're going to go ahead and save. Now it's going to take maybe 10, 15 seconds for it to save, uh, so it's, it's not quick, um, but watch what happens when you save. Something uh, quick comes up for a split second or so. Um, so we're waiting for this. We're waiting. Okay, see up here it says update successful. Hopefully you saw it, um, but it says update successful. Okay, now here's something else that's going to happen. You're going to get a, um, a notification from DRC. See right here it popped up. See that notification? So it says no reply at Data Recognition Corp. So that's DRC. So DRC portal profile change alert. So this email originated from outside the organization. Do not click the links and so on. All right, but here's, if they're gonna send it to your email. So let me just show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna go to the email, see right here? And uh, um, it says, um, no, if you click on it, it says information has been changed within your DRC portal account profile to ensure the highest level of security for the DRC Portal Data Recognition Corporation automatically alerts you when your profile is updated. If you did not initiate the action noted above or if you need assistance, please contact your administrator.
All right. So, um, nor I, I don't remember of any issue that occurred where someone changed someone else's profile. All right. But if for some reason you get this, and that's why your email address is important. It's it. This is sent to your email address um, that that you have in your profile. All right. So that's why that's important. If it does occur though, then you need to make sure you contact your administrator. Okay, now here's something else I want to talk about. So if you go back to your profile, CMD right here, you can change your password. Um, so if, if for some reason your password was compromised, let's say a student saw your password and they know your username is your email address. Um, so you, you may want to change at that point. All right. So uh, again, you just, anything with an asterisk, you, you would, um, uh, now, when you change your password through here, you're going to have to put your current password, your new password, and confirm your new password, and then you save. Okay? Um, there, I think that's all I wanted to mention about your your um, your profile and how to edit your profile. All right. So, uh, if you have any questions in terms of editing your profile, either ask your test coordinator uh, or the backup test coordinator at your school.